Hi everyone. Today I want to show you the criteria that I use in determining uh, if a Louis Vuitton handbag is authentic or a replica. I learned I've learned this over the years. Um, actually, at the Louis Vuitton store in Las Vegas, they're the ones who told me this information that I am going to tell you. One of the things is this is made out of canvas. There's the Louis Vuitton pattern, which is iconic. Everybody knows it. It's recognizable. There's the LV and the fleur de lis. There's the framed, the little flower, the unframed uh, fleur de lis. One of the things is this is made with one piece of canvas, and they just take it like that, and they make the handbag. So on one side, the Louis Vuitton, the LV, will be upright. On the other side, the LV will be upside down. If it's not, it's a replica, like this little coin purse I have. The LV on both sides is right side. I tell people that this was made by Larry Vuitton, Louis's younger brother. And I bought this at like a flea market for nothing years ago. I've had that forever. Um, okay, so that's the first thing. The other thing is the pattern on the Louis Vuittons, like this little flower right here, the three quarters flower in this, and part of it's in the seam. If you follow this across the handbag, you'll come over here and you'll have the same flower. And it works that way with like here's the framed uh, fleur de lis. You follow that across and you have it right there. Um, it works that way if you go diagonal with the pattern, up and down with the pattern, across with the pattern. Um, oftentimes on replicas, they don't take the time to do that with the pattern. The other thing is you zip it closed and you look at it and the uh, patterns line up, the icons line up with each other. On a replica, and I've seen a lot of replicas that are like a stitch by stitch identical, but yet those icons don't line up like that. Um, Louis Vuitton uses leather for their handles. They oxidize it in a way that it will patina and just the oils of your skin, it will turn color over time. And as time goes on, the leather gets darker and darker. The same thing with the findings. They use brass findings and the brass will patina over time. Um, this one is not that old and I'll show you in a little while why, how I know that. But there is a little bit of patina that is starting on the brass. Um, the other thing, the lock is always put on this piece of leather here. And the lock should always be with the um, Louis Vuitton made in Paris. And then on the inside of the lock will be the LV um, icon or stamp. Um... Louis Vuitton always does five stitches on their handles. So there's five stitches right there. Um, never four, never six. It's always five. Um, oh, the red dye. The, when the Louis Vuitton is new, this part is dyed red. And again, they use a process so that it oxidizes over time. Um, and it's... a it's not a bright red like you see in the, um, well, it starts out bright red, but not as bright as some of the replicas. When you open the bag on the inside, it's just canvas, and there is a pocket, and the pocket is just plain. There's no Louis Vuitton insignia. There's no leather placard. It's just a plain pocket. Um... I forgot there was something else I was going to tell you, but I'll remember, maybe. Okay, when you lift this pocket up on the inside, there should be 
this stamp. And that stamp is a country and a date code. Louis Vuittons are made in France, Italy, the United States, and I think it's either Spain or Portugal. But it's made in those four countries. And there might be Germany as well. Anyway, it's Louis Vuittons are made in several countries. They are not made in China, ever. Um, you know, coach, authentic coach bags are made in China. And some Chanel bags are made in China. Louis Vuittons are not. Anyway, this SP, the number on here is SP0022. The first two letters is the country code. SP is the code for France. This bag was made in France. The first and third letters are the month that the bag was made. So zero and two means February. The second and fourth numbers are the years. So this bag was made in February of 2002, according to that code. Um, anyway, I think that's everything. The other thing that, um, in my opinion, I think this is an authentic Louis Vuitton. You know, there'll never be a, you'll never have a seam down the middle. Oh, I know what I was going to tell you. The reason they call this a Speedy 25 is it measures 25 centimeters across the bottom. The 35 measures 35, you know, so forth and so on. Um, one of the reasons why I think this is an authentic, because I know that there's replicas out there that do a stitch by stitch, identical, they have the date code, they have the country code, all of that, but it's just the weight of it. This bag is um, light. It's not heavy. I have an authentic Louis Vuitton that's a bigger size, and it, too, is light. It's not heavy until, of course, you put all of your crap into it, and then it gets heavy. The replicas that I've had, and it's not something I can really show you, but I can just tell you, they're just heavy. Like, this one is a Marc Jacob, and it's a really nice um, replica of a Marc Jacobs handbag. Um, this is one of the ones that was so popular here a few years ago. This sucker is heavy. It's empty, but there's nothing in it. But it is heavy before you ever get anything in it. Um, and I just think that's part of the... Um, when they replicate it, they use different materials and whatnot, and it just makes them heavier. This is really uh, just the weight of this bag to me. The weight of it, the fact that the icons all line up, they match up when you go diagonal. You know, I've matched all of them up. Um, the five stitches, the yellow, the patina, there's just a little bit of patina that's just starting on the brass. But since this bag was made in 2002, it's not that old of a bag. And um, the other thing, I bought it at a yard sale and the lady just never used it. She said it was too small for her. So she's probably just had it in the closet for many of those years. Anyway, I just, in my opinion, it's an authentic Louis Vuitton handbag. And those are the things that I was told to look for when you're looking at a Louis Vuitton, buying a Louis Vuitton handbag. Look for those things. Um, the five stitches, the yellow, the oxidized leather. But the main thing is the pattern matching um, because that is something that I don't know that if they do that on replicas or not. And that's one thing I was going to ask Lori because I know she has a lot of replica Louis Vuitton. Um, if hers match up, if her icons match up that way. Anyway, that's everything I know about Louis Vuitton and what to look for in buying one, whether it's authentic or not. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you have a great weekend. Bye.